We're here in Landlock, Colorado, teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation through a scholarship of a lifetime. trip meeting for our big adventure coming up in the Florida Keys, but first, we're talking trash. So right now, we're on our way to go to the party at Ocean Bruce, the pre-trip party, and... trip party right now and it really just it's happening I mean I, this is the last day I'm gonna see everybody before we actually head out to Florida I'm going to Florida literally next Wednesday that's not that far um, I can't wait for Florida oh my goodness every time I think about it I'm like oh I'm so excited and I kind of haven't really let it sink in I'm probably not gonna like on it like realize it until I literally get to Florida and I'll be like, wow, I'm in Florida. It's it's true, we're gonna go scuba diving, it's happening. Sweet, thank you guys for coming. How are you guys feeling tonight? Good. Good? Is anybody excited yeah. to go to Florida? Yeah. yeah. yeah let's see, who's excited? Me. Who's excited? Yeah. How many days until we leave? Eight. Uh, we have a lot to cover, a lot of trip details, we've got this whole bag of gifts for you guys, and also a really cool presentation from Lauren and Ocean First Institute. They've worked with over 100,000 kids in the last couple of years through their programs, so they're very busy. Without further ado, Lauren. Thank you very much. How are you guys doing today? Okay. I'm a conservation biologist and the director of outreach for Ocean First Institute. And I specialize, obviously, in the ocean side of the world. So we need to know what's going on in the world, but then what? What do we do? So sharing that with the general public, sharing that with students, sharing that with, yes, even politicians. That may not be my favorite part, but we need to talk to everybody about why is this important? Why should I care about this? And what can we do? You and me, right here, what can we do to protect our planet? Now, hopefully you guys haven't seen a beach like this before, but there are places all over the world that look like this. Um, Ocean First actually adopted uh, a part of the highway from here to Longmont on the diagonal. And every time I count the number of cigarette butts I do, and I always get at least 300. It's usually less than a mile, uh, stretched just on one side of the road. So I'm going to be focusing on the macroplastics. Those are those big pieces. But I am going to share with you guys these. We'll talk about microplastics a little bit as well. So what that means when something ends up in the environment, it's not going to stay like this forever. It will break down, but it doesn't go away. We have a little fork here. This is a science experiment. Obviously, this, is, uh, this has been altered here by people. But just to give you an idea, how long do you guys think it takes from this fork to go from here all the way down to here, those little microplastics. So this is estimated to take over 100 years. All right, and how many times does this plastic fork usually used? Once, maybe for just a few minutes. Now this one doesn't just degrade, it biodegrades. How is that different? Bacteria can break it down. Absolutely, so that bio part is so important. Life helps break it down. But when we talk about degrading, it's the actual structure falling apart. So whenever I have done creek cleanups, this has actually been one of the most common items next to cigarette butts are tiny little pieces of styrofoam. And this is one of the most harmful types of plastic, very hard to recycle. Most places do not recycle this. What could you do instead of styrofoam? Um, containers. Reusable containers. Yes, I love that you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many different kinds out there. I don't want you to think that all oh, plastic is evil and every time that you throw away something plastic, you're destroying the planet. I don't want you guys thinking that. Um, this is really hard to do. I mean, there's a lot of items that 
we find every single day in the grocery store. I've been doing this for years and years, and I still create about one garbage bag of trash a year. But I'm really lucky that I have this time. This is part of my job that I spend this time working on this. Not everybody has the time, but what's something everybody can do? You could say no to these. You could maybe next month get some reusable bags and try to reduce the amount of plastic bags that you have. So I just encourage people, try one thing and see if maybe next month, if you liked it, you, it did well, maybe try a second thing. Okay, now what? What are some things that we can do right here in Colorado? Any age, what can we do right now to deal with this? What's one thing you can do when you go out to eat to reduce your impact? No plastic straws. No plastic straws. And just tell them, like when, you have, when you're seated, say, I don't need a straw, thank you. I usually tell them for the whole table. I That's say, we, I do we don't need straws, and everyone can give me the looks they want, but we don't need them. Um, so it's up to everybody. It's up to our elected leaders to care about these things as well. So it's everybody kind of working together to really make a positive difference. But that education is so important. You really can lead by example. So I encourage you guys to share this with others. Anybody that'll listen to you talk about trash. All right, and we are done. Thank you. <laughs> Did you guys learn some cool stuff? Yes. Something new? Every day we just take them for granted. And then we realize, man, we just put something in the ocean that could be there for up to like 500 years and we didn't even think about it. I feel like I'll be able to like, cause like lately like I'll try not to use like plastic. But like yet again, it's like, it's such and like, it's still integrated into like our society. It's, you know, great that you guys are going to have a scuba certification and have had this entire, you know, amazing experience, but I kind of asked the question, then what? You know, where does it take you? What is the next step? And whether it's plastic pollution or sharks or, you know, any of the other things that you guys have started to learn about this semester, our hope is, is that you'll find something like this to be passionate about and call your own and, and hopefully make a difference. And I feel blessed to have the opportunity to have gone through all these presentations with renowned doctors or marine biologists, scientists around the uh, country who are studying different types of concepts and trying to and having the opportunity to learn about them. It's all right, we have a lot to cover, so we're going to upshift in the third and start getting through some stuff here. Oh, the pre-trip party is uh, designed to get everyone together before the trip leaves, go over details, logistics. Generally, it's just to build excitement and energy around the trip and to send everybody off on the, on the right foot. Just going to do a quick trip overview. We're going to go to Key Largo which is the first of the keys. And you guys are gonna have a completely um, new perspective on life. And then at the end of, of June, we're gonna have the, the concert culmination to the semester. In addition to the diving, you guys are also going to be doing some marine research, which is really cool. We're gonna play with lasers. Uh, we're gonna do like a fish ID survey. And we're gonna expand on the lionfish stuff that you guys um, learned about last month. So there's a company called Dan, it's Divers Alert Network, and they are the insurance provider for, for most of the world, um, for scuba diving, trip insurance, and they cover all new students through your open water dives. So until you're certified, you are covered, insured by Dan. And Megan has been doing a ton behind the scenes, and you guys are really gonna see the fruits of her labor once you get into these goodie bags. But she was able to secure insurance for you guys for an entire year. Yay! Thank you, Megan! Okay, cool. Sweet! So, Wednesday morning, our flight is early. Who booked this flight? And why is she? So, it's 7.50 a.m. We do two dives in the morning, come back for lunch, have lunch, and then we go out and do two dives in the afternoon come back, you guys will be exhausted. Uh, then we have a written test, a pre- I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> and I mentioned to you guys that I've done 998 dives. So I am sharing the biggest dive milestone of my life with you guys in Florida. All right, so we're gonna get into the goodie bags. All right, so every Ocean First trip that we organize, we put together a goodie bag that includes some basic uh, travel-related merchandise goodies. Chapstick, brief safe sunscreen, 
water bottles, that sort of stuff. We've put together probably the nicest travel bag. Swag bag. Swag bag. <laughs> in the history of Ocean First, for sure. So I'm going to turn it over to Megan and let her um, tell you a little bit more about the partners that we have that have contributed to the bag. Really what is so special about these, uh, I've been calling them eco travel kits because I really think that you know, speaks volumes to what it's really about. This is really a, a testament to the support that is out there for you guys. So I reached out to a few awesome companies that I work with and ambassador for and told them about the Tides program and Ocean First and this awesome series and these amazing kids and they were so excited and so inspired by you guys' stories. And they were like, how can I help? What can we do? And I said, well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> this is um, such a great opportunity for the students to learn how to be sustainable, eco-conscious travelers. So we have some amazing bags, reusable bags, made out of um, recycled plastic from Chico Bag. You've got your bamboo flatware. You've got a knife, a fork, and a spoon, and you know, if you're feeling adventurous, chopsticks. We've got Stream to Sea. They make body, environment, and ocean coral friendly products. Reusable water bottles, huge deal. We could all make a difference using these instead of plastic. And then we've got here the, wait, I'm gonna say it wrong, salient? Salient. Salient, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be used by the students if they get cold. And on the inside, it's lined with a proprietary yarn. And that yarn increases circulation. Really, I just want you guys to understand how much this represents, how proud of you guys that we all are, but also these companies coming in to offer support. In addition to SSI with the certification, Mara's with the gear, and Paralens with the cameras, and now Dan with the insurance. The idea that the, all of these companies, big companies, are coming on board saying, we love what you guys are doing. Keep going forward and inspire. Just kind of excited, anxious maybe a little bit, but definitely looking forward to it. I'm ready to go. I cannot wait. It's so exciting. I still can't believe it's like only a week away, so. I can't believe I've come so far. Like, I used to not know how to swim, and now I'm gonna go scuba diving in Florida, which is pretty cool. Who's your favorite dive instructor? Kathy? Time just to make sure to get it on camera. So we're going diving, you guys, in eight Woo! days! Woo! Florida Keys, here we come! Next week, the Florida Keys.